هذا هذاك في البسط السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته دير ايفري وان ايفري وير اني وير اني بليس ان ذا وورلد من الله سبحانه وتعالى بليس يو اند هيلب يو اند شاور هيز بليسنج ابون ايفري وان اوف يو ويفر يو ار ويفر يو ار توداي وي ار توكينج اباوت ذا محمدوف براذرز Why I call the talk Muhammadov? We were reading a book written by somebody called Alan Dunu, a Canadian author, about foolishness and the creation of the industry of foolishness. I call it Muhammadov because there's something common between Muhammad Farah, which is the gold, the medalist, Muhammad Ali Clay, which is another gold medalist. Mo Salah, which is a very famous striker in Liverpool, as you all know. Mohamed Durra, the young, the young boy who was shot uh, 19 years ago in Gaza. All of them have value in their sport, in their profession. It's not only a profession, only. It's a profession with a value. Muhammad Ali Clay stood against the war in Vietnam in the 60s and the, the late 60s and he refused and he stood for his religion and never bowed down and keep winning the heavyweight championship three times and so on. So foolishness is an industry. This is what uh, Alan Duno was talking about in his book. And this is what we are going to talk about. Those people are of value. Moral value, social value, and humanitarian value. Next to Muhammad Ali is Malcolm X, Malik Shabazza as well. He died. He's not one of the more brothers as Muhammad, but Malik. At least he has the M of the name. If we look at foolishness, what do we mean by foolishness as in the definition of Alan Duno book. It is emptying the subject matter from its real value. When we look at the cinema nowadays in the West, whether it's from Universal Studio, from Hollywood, or the drama on the television, and look at these incredible movies, Scrooge, Dr. Doolittle, Oliver, Mary Poppins, uh, The Gun with the Wind, Sound of Music, The Tale of Two Cities, Chit what? Chitty Chit. Chitty Chit. Chitty Chit Bang Bang. And even if you look at the great singer like Rod Stewart, like uh, 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 Julie Andrews, and uh, what's his name? Uh, Prince. Huh? Prince. John Lennon. Huh? John Lennon. John Lennon. Value. Even the music, the drama, the songs, and the West, different from what we see nowadays, unfortunately, okay? Just trying to look, you, this is not every drama that you can see uh, in the good old days. That's why during Christmas and the holiday festivity, they bring this great drama back to you in the box to watch it, okay? In his book, Alan Deneau, Uh, in his book, Foolishness System 2015, he stated that fools or the foolish won the battle as if it's ended. For me, it's not ended yet. It's not ended yet. Maybe one, 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 one battle. Okay. Using the methodology of ADUC, this is the, this is actually the philosophy. Methodology of ADUC, mediocrity, shallowness. Dumbness to control the new situation. This is what they are doing, the industry of foolishness, using this to win the battle against logic. Thinkers, theologians, scientists like yourself. He also quoted, no need, what he's telling in his book, that this industry of foolishness, telling everybody, No need to read these complicated books of history, books of cultures, books of values, books of morality, 
books of all this science and technology. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't get yourself ahead. And he's also saying, don't be proud or spiritual about what you read. Otherwise, you'll be looking like a complicated character. Complicated character or very difficult character. Okay? Because it makes you, when you start talking about the books, it makes you arrogant. Don't become arrogant. Be humble. Be stupid. Be funny. Be low. Also, he said, don't present any new idea. He's advising the 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 the, the industrialist, the, the foolishness, the, the foolishness industrialist was saying they're saying, don't to, to you, don't present any new idea. You know why? Because it will be criticized, frightening you from bringing the new idea to the table to teach it or to bring it to the side. It does not carry valuable insight. Always putting you off because you use the brain, the logic. And what he said, when you come to the television, look like this. You know, your eyes are make like stare. He think, look at his eyes. Then actually drop your lips, especially your lower lips. Like this. Oh, yes. And behave like idiot. And like whatever it is, so people will be attracted to what you are saying. And have your your thinking to be fluid. Nobody will understand what you are talking about. Be ready for shaping yourself, having a new look every day, every day. Even when one day, two thousand six, when I was in Cairo, and I was trying to involve some of the actors and the actresses to join us as as. Uh, uh, ambassadors. I met one of my my friends, was with me in the medical school, and he is he was a psychiatrist. And he was explaining. He told me one thing: don't ever get an actor to lead your organization. I said why? Because he all or she all all the time every day, she is living through a new character that she's actually trying to act. Uh, in the drama or in the cinema. And today, she is a thief. Tomorrow, she is a teacher. After tomorrow, another movie or drama as a prostitute. The week after, she is a fighter. And the, the, the time you meet the actor or the actors, they are actually living through the character that they are acting. So use them, but don't let them to... Uh, lead your organization. And he told me one of them came with a very strange outlook, outfit. The top with a hat, like a cowboy's hat, hat. And the jacket is different color to the trouser, to everything. It is something new look, as we call it nowadays. Be ready for shaping. Time is different. And what he said in his conclusion, our time now Boys and girls, brothers and sisters, men and women, young and old, that actually the fools are in charge. I know that the fools are in charge, but we will be in charge later on. Here is the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ about the manifestation of the fool. Prophet ﷺ 1400 years ago said, Once upon a time, a time will come when we will see false lives where we will trust the liar and mistrust the trustworthy. When we uh, are not going to put any confidence in the, the trustworthy man and then to put all our confidence and those people who can stab you at the back. A time will come when this Roy Bida will stand up publicly and talk to everybody. And the companion of the Prophet said, what, the, what, what Roy Bida means in Arabic? He did not know it's in Arabic, his name. He said, the individual as a man or as a woman who are ignorant but stand on a public platform to guide people in theology, in astronomy, in agriculture, in economy, in art, in history. And this is Arroy Bida. And that's what actually the fool 
and the industry of foolishness which is being created nowadays. Manifestation of such fools and foolish people are jumping, dancing, screaming like fools, shallowness, uh, saying nonsense, nonsense. But the more you say nonsense, the more you become famous. The more you have more hashtag, the more you have more likes, the more you have more followers. And that's what actually telling the young brothers and sisters, don't follow the shallow fool individuals. What is the role of the fool? The creators of foolishness are playing a new role in our community. Our community are run by them, whether they are president, whether they are prime ministers, whether they are ministers, whether they are theologian, whether they are economist, whether they are thinker, whatever you call it, in their speciality. Okay, I see it's very nice, but actually he has a character. Creators of foolishness are playing a new role in our community. What, the, what is the role? They sideline whom? They sideline and silence the, com the competent, young, innovative pioneers. No, we don't want her. We don't want that, them. No. Let the real educated, cultural, thinkers, artists, poets, authors live well in the darkness, in the slum. Of negligence. Certain every good man in the society because they only can bring the fool to stand on the public platform and all the subjects. They embrace whom? Embrace, promote and crown the fools. How? By making them stars, icons, role models. Huh? So the fools and the foolish people will be leading the society. Unfortunately, there's some of those people are in the highest level of the political hierarchy as presidents, prime ministers, ministers, thinkers, and others. Embracing, promoting, and crowning the fools by making stars, icons, and role models of them leads the fools, the foolishness, becoming a culture, so the foolishness are now becoming a culture, philosophy, and new way of life. It's an industry. Industry to create fool, the foolishness industry is to create fools at the moment. And this is what the Prophet Sallallahu talked about it 1400 years ago, and they called them our way without. Okay. Why foolishness is spreading very widely? It's spreading very widely. Not like in the good old days when you have moral values, family values, social values, economical values. Okay. According to Alan Dunno, actually, our profession now becomes a mean of life. Yani, our prof just a mean of life. I go to the work, to job, to, to, to do my work, to get money and get live. Nothing else. There's no value in my profession. It's number one. Politics became technical management. Alas, nothing more. It, that has no values, principles, or morality. Nothing is there. They empty it from the back, from its, its value, its moral values. Nowadays, the states are run as private businesses, private business companies, and are based on personal interest, not public interest. So even the state now is being dealt with as a, as a private company because we are controlled by the multinational company which is controlling the whole globe. Public interest became a misunderstood principle and impossible to implement. Nobody is caring about the public interest anymore. Most of the people are not caring. They want to live, just nothing else. The intellect and the educated accommodate the needs of privacy. And even the intellect now to live, they have to accommodate the private sector not to shame, direct, and develop the private sector. You have to follow the flow of the private sector, the private business. They replace politics and policy with governance to control, not to empower people. Social, with social acceptance to change the social values of the people. 
and citizen with partnership which does not protect the moral fabric. Say this again. The replacement of politics and policy with governments to control the people. Social with social acceptance to change the social values and social values of the people. Citizens with partnership which does not protect the moral fabric of the people. Number seven, there are more reasons why it's spreading very widely. Ignorance, allurement, become phenomena, loss of confidence and trust in the community, social divide as we can see it nowadays, fashion madness, destroying the educational system everywhere, you find that the education system being destroyed, empowering the fools as well. That's why it's spreading very widely. How to create foolishness and fools? As, as I said, and as actually Alan Duno said, it is an industry. Industry like cinema industry, drama industry, like steel industry, like agricultural industry, like live meat industry, like uh, aviation industry, like security and, and so on. Properly plan this and it's a properly planned distracting system stopping people from thinking about what? Real determining issues. It's a properly planned distracting system to stop you thinking, to stop you developing, to stop you thinking logically and building your community and your society. Making people, this is actually industry, make people less interested in learning about any constructive and the affected social and scientific knowledge and instead attracting them to argument, keep arguing, disagreement, create conflict. Look at how you uh, uh, look after your own life and your sexual life as well. So this is becomes the norm nowadays, not to look about the country and to want to build for the country but to start to argue on this argument, disagree with one another. Continual destruction of moral values. This is actually it's a machine. Foolishness industry is a machine. Foolishness industry is a machine. Continuously destroying the moral values and morality which led to society's backwardness. It's very, very dangerous to have this. Becoming a more powerful industry. Now, the industry of foolishness, we are more powerful industry than any constructive social and, and materialistic industry in the society, in the country. Very well supported, deeply empowered in the society. What's left for such societies nowadays? Actually, clowns, fakes, and headless famous fools, including top politician, top thinkers, top theologian, top scientists, as they call themselves, which from inside they are hollow, because they don't have the morality, they don't have the values, they don't have the principles, but they become the fools which have been created by the foolishness industry or the industry of creating fools. Yes? What is the outcome of this industry? What will they will bring to us? First of all, people's lives, people's lives, hmm? people's lives are made. People's lives are made very shallow, very shallow. Just you need to take from life what you need to live. Interest only in the biological needs: food, drink, clothes, sexual life family life and that's it, nothing else. People are less interested in real values in their lives. As people matter. Yes. I don't want any more headache. Leave me alone. Me and my family, me and my wife, me and myself. Okay. Change in moral and social values. Of course it will change because to be led by the fools and led by the machine of the fools. Now there's a new movie called uh, The Joker. Why everybody is scared of it? Why they're putting police in different cinemas? Because in previous movies like this, like Batman and others, they were shooting in the cinema, in, in the 
and and uh, and uh, yes, during the, during the, during the, during the showing the films, the movies, people are scared because the cinema industry is producing such a movie which could be scary to the society, fragmenting the society, destroying the society. Somebody might say that the actor is excellent, of course. It's nothing to do with the outcome of the impact of such a movie on the society itself. Innovation, innovating, pioneering, cultured and educated people not having a chance to read the society. This is the outcome. We never let any educated, pioneer, innovative individual like yourself to lead the society or to stand on a platform in the society because they what they want they want the fools to lead if you come and lead they'll fight you if you want to lead they'll fight you they will sideline you and they actually alienate you next please what's the solution then many nations discover the danger of foolishness creators and their industries in USA, in Europe, in Australia, and other countries. They started to fight back to protect the society and to protect the future generation from such industry and such outcome from the industry. On the, they started widespread awareness campaigns to warn their citizens about such industry, which is destroying the fabric of social public of their societies. Most and foremost is corruption now become an industry. Corruption become a system. Corruption become a philosophy of governance. Whenever I go, whenever I go to different parts of the world, it, corruption is there, top of the agenda, goes from about 30%, 40% certain countries, to about 90% or more in different countries, whether in Africa or Asia or Latin America, while the land is extremely rich, the resources are extremely plenty, abundant, but the poor are extremely poor. And look at the rich Africa and the poor African nation. So first of all, we have to fight corruption. But what are the steps? Apart, this is actually the slogan, the biggest slogan. First step to do is raising the awareness to all citizens especially media create an alternative media platforms what is the role of such a media independent media platform through making different media groups believing in the principles of social reform because the state media nowadays producing fools and producing foolishness Promoting arts, culture, traditional heritage, history, and community values is the awareness campaign. Promoting drama that establishes the role of community building through and good role models and authentic history. This is a part of the awareness campaign that we need to do to be standing parallel to what the machinery or the industrial machine of foolishness, a foolish, fool creation, uh, fool's creation is doing to our societies. Yes. Number two, investing in youth. Wherever you go, youth are the jewel, male and female. They constitute about 40 to 50 percent at least of any society. Our first investment in job opportunity, real job, real jobs, because when I'm qualified from secondary school or from an institute or from a faculty or from a university, I need to have a job. Otherwise, I will just drift in my society and do something very bad. Job opportunity. Okay. Building community centers for uh, cultural, intellectual, and sports organization to be organized by youth, to give them, to empower them to be actually taking and to become in charge of building such organizations. 
investing in cultural knowledge, history, and scientific competitions and awards to engage the youth. Encouraging reading. Most of our youth don't read anymore. How many hours they read every day? We, as young people, stay on this telephone for 10 hours to chit chat with our friends. But we don't open a book to read for an hour or two or three or four hours. Building library for the young people to go and use it as a space for reading and getting knowledge. Promoting vocational training and occupational education, particularly some youth don't want to carry on the whole career for state education. After primary school, they just want to go into, they are very good in, in manual work. How much they tend to do this? And at the age of 15, 16, 17, they have a job. Skillful job, manual work that they want to do. And we need this and we need that. Scouting is very important also for the young kids, okay, to keep them up and running. I shall mention vocational training, vocational training as well. Building community markets and encourage young men and women if they don't have big capital income, if they did not manage to finish their education and they want to go into business, they can start with a very little capital money to earn their living. So we we'll go from job opportunity to sports, to culture, to knowledge, to scouting, to vocational and education training and actually uh, government training, then to the market to let them to start to earn their own money from day one, whether they invest graduate or not. After investing in youth, building a strong independent civil society organization and civil society sector. Without having a civil society sector independent and stronger civil society organization, we cannot guarantee that corruption is not going to be tackled. Cannot guarantee. Because always private business sleep in bed with the government. So the watchdog is stronger civil society sector and civil society organizations. Government reform. We have to have a stronger institution, state institution, independent totally from the executive government which is governing the country. The prime minister cannot come and take over the state institution. The state institution has to be con monitoring the performance of the government, not vice versa. And this is very important, particularly in Africa, North Africa, the um, uh, Middle East, as well as Latin America and Asia as well. Uh, investing in proper, applicable, market, state and community related education. So your education system and syllabus in the university and in the schools have to be related to the market related to the need of the community and related to all the surroundings, not just to people, producing people, young people who are not related to what's happening in the society with the education system. Investing in literacy education for the elderly and then people who fail to carry on to finish their education in the university and increase spending on social services. I can say Confidently, that in this autocratic dictatorship regime, countries, more than 80% of the budget are spending on military and security. And less than 15% is spent on the social welfare of the people, such as health, such as uh, education, such as well-being of the people themselves. And this is where, actually, this kind of governments actually encourage the industry of creating foolishness and fraud. Oh, we finished? Okay. I can follow you if you follow me, inshallah. So to conclude, can you come to the first slide? Please.
You see, those people have good quality, as we can see in their profession. So, in their profession, they manage to keep their values and moralities while they are succeeding. Next one, please. And even when you look at this great, great, great industry of drama and cinema and music, okay, it's not there anymore because we sell ourselves to a producer who wants to take the boxes only, not to bring the value actually to the society or not to strengthen and cement the social values of the society. God bless you. And then last slide, last slide. God bless you and I'll see you if I follow you or you follow me. Assalamu alaikum wa